In the New York Times, this was their headline on the passing of East Texan Homer Jones for all the world to see, mentioning he began the end zone celebration by merely spiking the ball. This was in 1965. There is an interesting backdrop to the first end zone celebration in the NFL, and to hear one of his friends tell it, it originated in Tyler in a game where Mount Pleasant was playing Emmett Scott, the all-black school, during the late 50s and 60s. The Hummer was the first one. I was the first one. Did it in Mount Pleasant and Tyler against Emmett Scott. And the referee said, I'm not going down there and get that ball. Don't do that no more. Yeah, well, we were playing Emmett Scott. And, but Hummer wasn't playing football then. He didn't play till his second year. But he saw it, and he... Yeah, sure did. Yeah, yeah, in the pros. Yeah. Roy Henry was among family and friends that paid their last respects to Mr. Jones. This was old school folk sharing old school tales. He's one of the few people that I played against and admired because I understood how great he was, even in high school. Bobby Moulton, like his friend, played wide receiver and played for the Denver Broncos. High school rivals were Jones' first shined in track. So he was in everything, the mile relay, the, and all you could hear the announcer saying, Homer Jones, Homer Jones. I got back home and I woke up about 3 o'clock in the night and all I could hear was Homer Jones. <laughs> and I ran, a, I ran track against him and he was a sophomore and I was a senior. And I said, I'm going to smoke this little joker. <laughs> and I started, we started out, but when I got to the 200 yards, I heard something behind me. And he, he was a sophomore and I was saying he outrun me. And I, I never did beat him in nothing. He was 29 when retirement set in. And to this day, is number one in yards per catch for players with at least 200 receptions, 22.3. That means better than Jerry Rice, Drew Pearson, even Michael Irvin, and they're all in the Hall of Fame. Literally, we were talking about a giant, not just a New York giant, early in his career. He was called the best receiver in the NFL by accident. Mr. Jones was 82. Condolences to his family.